Hey Lug Nuts, welcome to Lug Unplugged. I have the Rover XL here. New release from Lug. Uh, it actually came a couple days ago, but I haven't had a chance to kind of open it up and do the video. So, but I do now, and I thought I'd take you for a little journey through the Roundabout XL. That's what I said, right? <laughs> so the Roundabout is kind of like a built-in wallet, very similar to the Scoop, but a little bit more condensed. So um, really a nice, nice with the top handle. The interesting thing is they've got one zipper on the front of the handle and one zipper on the back. So uh, pay attention to that if that's something that will bug you because if you're wearing it, that's where the, the strap will hang as well. So you can, so you've got, got one of these is behind it. So just, just something to pay attention to. Some people like it, some people don't. This is in the sand taupe color. This actually, you know, I had to compare it to my um, to my Ranger XL, which is also the sand taupe because it's darker than I remember it. Um, it's almost to the walnut coloration instead of like a real kind of a rich cream, in my opinion. But uh, still a very much a neutral kind of goes with everything. I've got a navy top on. This is gray. So still really good. Um, they've got this kind of triangle diamond quilting um it's fine it's what they did for the roundabout so to keep it so that you know it's the roundabout makes sense it's fine it's nothing special to me i don't love it i don't hate it um you do have this front pocket very skinny um very hard to kind of get into N not much space on its own so uh if you do use it it might fight for space with your phone compartment so keep it real light and thin in there this is your magnetic phone compartment. Your phone goes east-west in here, not north-south. Um, then you get to this front pocket, which has the strap in it, a nice thin strap. I prefer the thinner straps over the inch and a half, the inch ones. Um, here's our, the first family. Uh, you've got quite a large built-in wallet here. You can see one, two, three, Wait, one, two, three, four card slots on both sides. Plus the back is a cash drawer. We've got a little lug encouragement card, believe in yourself. There on the back side, there's a cargo pocket. It is fleece lined, really easy to put sunglasses in. Um, this pocket is deep enough that a wallet could fit in there. So you could always use the card slots for your most frequent and then throw like, throw your wallet let me see i've got my so this is the pouch that came with the tenor um it's really thin and so something like that fits in really nicely so right now i've got all my membership cards and like coupons in here and that would fit really well in there and then i could put my credit cards in these quick access ones with my cash behind so um something like that would be great i also have i have the tandem zip here that fits in there too it's a bulkier wallet so it, it adds bulk so it's getting caught on the accordion fabric that keeps it from hanging really wide open there we go i might take this off if i was going to do this because that's kind of so it does close on the tandem zip um so that would fit in that pocket too the back pocket's bigger so this might be more fit better in the back pocket. So um, the intention is that this pocket's kind of your go-to wallet pocket. And then when you get to the back, that's where you can keep all your things. So let's start in this pocket. So first of all, this is all clear view line. Like this is all clear, including it went right on over the label here. So. The idea is you can put makeup in here and they very nicely put these vertical instead of horizontal. So it's easy to just pop your um, pop your mascara or your chapsticks or whatever you use. I'm not a big makeup gal. Um, right in there or pens or whatever. And that's easy for you. And you can even put your makeup down below. It's wipeable. It is all wipeable except for these. These are the stretchy elastic. That's all wipeable. Plus you've got a clear view pocket and even inside the clear view pocket is wipeable. So if you carry anything with you that you need wipeable interior for because things break, because it's messy, 
This is perfect for that. I will say the only part of this that's not wipeable is this ledge up here under the handle. That's not wipeable. So kind of made for people that take their makeup with them everywhere who are on the go um, and need to quick freshen up before their next meeting or their next, you know, their next whatever. Um, and they're on the go and this is a really great place to do that with. On the back you do have belt loops so you can wear this as a belt bag. A nice thing. It's a little bulky for a belt bag but uh, totally functional. Oh we just did that one and then there is a pocket underneath the belt loops. Another very skinny pocket. Can't put much in there. There's not much gusset on its own. So um, yeah this isn't going to get much use in my closet. Um, not much use in my in my rotation. Um, mostly because this back area being lined is nice if you use things that spill. I don't. Um, you know, I do take kids snacks and maybe that'll be a good spot to put like snacks in. But I'd rather use something with an insulated pocket like a zip liner. I could use that insulated pocket for cheese sticks, etc. So um, it fits a need for some people. It's just not a need that I have. I would almost rather use the Coupe XL if I'm going real condensed for things that I need, or um, if I go a little bit bigger, the scoop. Um, this is kind of right in between the Coupe XL and the scoop in terms of size and capacity. capacity. So, so, yeah, that, I mean, it fits, a, it fits a void in their collection. It's just not, a, not one that I'm going to use very much. So, uh, do you use it? Do you like it? What do you put in the clear, wipeable back compartment? And um, let me know. Comment down below, and thanks for watching. Bye.